Hello there. I'm waiting here for my friend Christine. She's supposed to meet us here in 28 minutes. But 28 minutes is pretty specific. Why don't we round that to the nearest 10 minutes? Here's a vertical number line. To round to the nearest 10, we need to find a bottom point and a top point. For this bottom point, we want to know how many tens there are in our number. How many tens are there in 28 minutes? We have a 2 in the tens place, so that's 2 tens. We'll write a 20 here. That's 2 tens. Now to make this top mark, what's one more 10 than 20? We'll add another 10 to the tens column. That gives us 3 tens in total. So on this top mark, we label 30 or 3 tens. Looking great so far. We know to round, we have to find the midpoint between our two marks. So, what is in the middle of 20 and 30? The midpoint is 25. That's two tens and five ones. That looks great. Now we're ready to plot our point. So look at 28. That's two tens and eight ones. Is that going to be more than halfway or less than halfway on our number line? Our midpoint is here at 25, and we know 28 is more than 25. So 28 is more than halfway on our number line. So now, what should we round to? What is 28 to the nearest 10? Twenty-eight to the nearest 10 is 30. So my friend Christine is going to arrive in about 30 minutes. That's great, but we've still got a while before she's here. So why don't we do another one? Now I want to round 117 milliliters to the nearest 10. Let's see. In the number 117, how many place values are represented? We have values in the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. But remember, we are going to round to the nearest 10. So we're going to focus on this column here to start. Just like before, to round to the nearest 10, we need to find out how many tens are in our number. So, how many tens are there in the tens place? We have one ten here in the tens place. But wait, we're not done yet. We have to look to the hundreds place as well. So, how many tens are there in the hundreds place? Remember to consider how many tens there are in a hundred. There is a one in the hundreds place, which means 100. But that also means 10 tens. So we have 10 tens in the hundreds place and one 10 in the tens place. How many tens are there in total? We have 11 tens in total. Now we're ready to set up our number line. At the bottom, we'll list 11 tenths. That's 110. For the top mark, we need to find one more 10. So, what is one more 10 than 11 tenths? Eleven tens plus one 10 is 12 tenths. So we'll write 120 or 12 tenths at the top of our number line. Now that we have the bottom and the top marks, what is our next step? Our next step is to find the midpoint. Let's find what is between 11 tens and 12 tens.
The midpoint is 11 tenths and 5 ones. That's 115. Awesome. Now we're ready to plot our point. Is 117 above the midpoint or below the midpoint? One hundred seventeen is greater than one hundred fifteen, so that is above the midpoint. Now we've got it. What is one hundred seventeen rounded to the nearest ten? One hundred seventeen rounded to the nearest ten is one hundred twenty. That's great. Good job today. I'm going to have to keep waiting for my friend though. She should be here twenty-four minutes from now. Hey. That's about 20 minutes, not too long.